ZW3D CAD Interface Introduction. This tutorial uses Windows 7. Run ZW3D 2015. Click this button to show the menu bar. This is the ribbon toolbar. Click New Command to create an empty file. This is the modeling interface. At the top, you have the menu bar. Pick any menu to view the related features. This is the ribbon toolbar. Many different applications are also listed here. Click any command. You can get to the quick tips here. This is the command panel. At the bottom is the status bar, which shows prompt information. Many different pick tools are provided in this middle bar. Add fillet for the shape. On the left is the manager. First is the history manager, where you can play operations to see the design process. In the work area, on top is the document aware toolbar. Here, we can quickly switch to a 2D sheet environment. Add the standard view and projection views. This is the exit icon. From here, we can quickly return to the previous work environment. This is the object manager. ZW3D has a unique feature, multi-object file management. It means that one file can hold many different parts, assemblies, 2D sheets, and CAM plans. This is the assembly manager. The third one is the view manager. Fourth is the visual manager. Turn on or off the manager with this button. Click this icon to turn on or off the output dialog. You can minimize the ribbon. And ZW3D supports multi-document windows with different ways of displaying the window. Double-click the title bar to maximize the window. Now, with this video, you have a preliminary understanding of the ZW3D CAD interface.